right. Flyway Mechanic here and today we're working on 2010 GMC Sierra 1500 um, hybrid so this has the active fuel management system and it is a hybrid uh, we got it from another shop because the customer was complaining of it running rough and shaking real bad I guess the other shop put a fuel injector in it and then they started tearing down the motor to figure out what was wrong and um, I will show you what we found here but uh, basically I'm just I'm already in here on the, on the scan tool I'm gonna go into um, data display and we're gonna look at the misfire data here so we can figure out um, what cylinder is misfiring because I had the battery disconnected so there's no codes in it but it's definitely uh, it's shaking pretty bad so we for sure got a misfire problem here um, hybrid data ignition All right. Uh, misfire data so all right so we got our misfire graft up here I just had to put the battery charger on it and um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and see what we got here all right so you can see cylinder 4 is going crazy there so um, cylinder 4 is definitely gonna be where our problem lies and like I said this is the active management fuel system which means on this vehicle it actually um, shuts cylinders down and it does that by um, disabling or limiting oil flow to the lifters so um, and it is somewhat common for these lifters fail on this so I'm gonna go ahead and get on the hood here and like I said the other shop already did a fuel injector and um, a coil and some other stuff so uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig a little deeper into this thing. I'm gonna check all the basics, you know, I'm gonna recheck the coil, the wires, the plugs, um, do, do a compression test. And depending on how all that stuff uh, turns out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we may end up having to pull the valve cover off and see if we have a lifter failure. All right, well, I got the uh, valve cover all torn off and um, this is what I found here, guys. Tell me if you find, see anything wrong with this picture. Alright, go ahead. I'll do it one more time. Alright. Alright. Alright, so, so I'm suspecting that you were able to tell that uh, one of those rocker arms were not moving, so um Basically what we found on this is uh, I'm suspecting that lifter has collapsed. Now where is these, this uh, active fuel management system cylinder number four is one of the cylinders that is, they're capable of shutting the lifters off to. But um, if that, that portion of it had failed, both those rocker arms would um, be stationary, not just the one of them. So we definitely have a collapsed, um, collapsed uh, lifter here. So, And I believe on this motor... Uh, the cylinder head has to come off, so it's a pretty big job, but um, we're going to talk to the customer and see if we're going to be fixing this one. And if we do, I'll be sure to do a video on that as well once I get it torn down, and I will leave that in the video description below. So um, be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up button if you thought this was helpful, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have another video with the lifter repair here in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Flyrate Mechanic.